Now, T, before we fly, we have to check the plane very carefully for safety reason. And we do that step by step. And the first thing we do is to check the oil stake. There is an oil tank in the plane, and the oil gives lubrication to different parts of the engine. And in case there is no oil, the engine will seize, and then the plane may stop, and it's very dangerous. The next thing we do is to check the propeller. Make sure there is no dents, no damage, and all the bolts are there. You don't only look at it, but you touch it, you shake it gently. Make sure there are no loose parts. And then we check the cowling, we check the vacuum generator which gives a vacuum to the instrument gauges and then you check the door for loose bolts and then you check the nose gear make sure the metal is okay there's no broken parts there is enough tire pressure and then you check the wings make sure the wing struts the screws and bolts are there. You shake it gently. And then you check the aileron. The aileron is responsible for turning to the left and to the right. And then you check the fuse lodge, the fabric, the antenna. And then you check the main landing gear. Make sure the tire pressure is enough. Make sure all the bolts are there. And then you check the rudder. And then the elevator. And then you check the aileron again on this side. And you check the wing struts again. You check the landing gear. Now inside the wing, there is a fuel tank and every time we fly, we have to drain a little bit of the fuel to find out if there is water mixed up with the fuel. Otherwise, we have to empty all the water in the fuel tank. There is also a small tank underneath the seat and we also have to drain a little bit of the fuel to check the presence of water. Can you close the door? Before we fly, I want to show you some of the instruments in the panel. This is the airspeed indicator. Normally we take off at 65 miles per hour. And in the air we cruise at 80 to 120 miles. There are bigger planes with heavy engine. They can fly much faster. This is an attitude indicator. The plane is flying level, the head going up, the head going down, or the wing is level, or the wing is flying towards the left or to the right. This is the engine RPM, and we normally fly at 5000 RPM. This is the oil pressure and the oil temperature gauges. 
the oil is very important to lubricate different parts of the engine and we have to keep an eye on this otherwise the engine may cease and then due to overheat and then we have to land in an emergency okay let's go ahead with another one this is the altimeter showing the height of the airplane we are flying normally I fly from 1,000 to 2,000 feet. I don't want to fly too high because I want to see the people, the cars that is on the ground. This is the vertical speed indicator. Shows whether the plane is flying up or down. If it points at 5, that means the plane is climbing at 500 feet per minute. If it is pointing at 3, that means the plane is descending 300 feet per minute. This is the turn coordinator. In case I fly into a piece of cloud, I cannot see in front and I have to turn back. And by aligning the wing tip to the marking, I am able to fly 180 degrees in one minute. And I turn back to where I am for safety. This is the transponder. It sends a signal to the control tower and for flying visual flying rules I turn to 1200. There are many frequencies that I can turn to as instructed by the control tower. But there are three numbers say 7500 in case there's a hijacking 7600 in case the radio is broken and I turn to 7700 in case there is a general emergency so um, T are you going to hijack me today? <laughs> <laughs> Now, but because if you do, I have to call 911 and call the police. I got it. This is the control tower. And there are people controlling traffic on the ground and also in the air with all instruments to help them. And this is the radar screen. Each dot shows the position of one aircraft for spacing, for sequence, so that they don't collide it in the mid-air or on the ground. This is the Global Positioning System, GPS, and it shows the position of your aircraft in relation to the moving map, and you follow the line to fly to another airport. Another instrument is the radio, the transceiver, and we talk to the control tower with this instrument. We get the weather report every hour by tuning to 125.9, and if we want to talk to the ground controller, and then we turn to 121.6, when we are ready to fly in the air, we turn to 119.0 and talk to the tower controller. So these are the fuse boxes and there is a switch that you need to know. Uh, if we want to talk to the controller,